Hello and welcome to Getting Handsy, this is Bob Bosk. Today we're going to try something new and go back to my roots. Kickstarters and board games. Here are some that are on my radar for this week. Now this first one is for fans of Dune and competitive board games. So this is Dune War for Arrakis. Basically you take one of the two houses, uh, Harkonnen or Atreides, and you fight for the planet. It seems like a pretty standard cool mini or not game, lots of little miniatures, uh, $100-ish price point, so... You will have to jump on it pretty quickly, though it's only got a couple days left. So the next game is USC Reach. Uh, it's kind of like a science fiction starship game where you... It sounds like you have a spaceship and a flight crew and you go around completing missions. Uh, and then it's got this like secret turn mechanic. So you're secretly making your moves compared to the other players in the game. It does say it's 1 to 4. I don't know how that would work with the the secret uh, stuff, but could be pretty cool. Base game is right around 50 bucks, and you can get some Kickstarter exclusive stuff for 60 Next, we've got Forsaken. It's another competitive game, but this one says one to four players. Um, it reminds me of like a sci-fi Weird West type style game, uh, but it sounds like you're kind of like a mercenary or a bounty hunter going around completing objectives and it says that each character uh like has their own story so that's kind of cool so you'd be able to replay and play different characters to do different things so that's it's a neat idea i think it looks interesting uh it's kind of expensive uh 130 is the base price um 180 for all in so that gives you some expansions and if you're like me and have terrible fomo you'd have to uh get the 180 version for all in this next one is One Shot Wonders. Uh, basically, it's ideas for your Dungeons and Dragons fifth edition uh, games, and so basically, it's yeah, it's just a book that gives you some ideas on some sessions to play with your friends. Uh, you can get PDF versions or a hardcover. Uh, price ranges from I think it's yeah, twenty six bucks for just a PDF to it was around. Oh, uh, $37 for the hardcover. Or there's other options of both and so on and so forth. So Now this one is actually just for miniatures, not necessarily a board game. They're for Brandon Sanderson's novels. Uh, I haven't read any of them, but I've heard they're pretty good. I guess these are characters from all of his books, so that's kind of cool. There's like a whole bunch of different minis you can buy. Uh, and then there's also a huge statue that I would assume is some big scene that happens in the books, but I'm not sure. I did back his super huge Kickstarter fairly recently of the four books, so I'll have that in the near future, hopefully. And here's the last one, and I just think it's a really cool concept. It's called Necromolds. Uh, this is technically the reprint, and I guess an expansion, uh, but the idea is that you, it's a competitive game, and you make an army out of these, like, clay molds, uh, and then when you, like, kill them, you squash them, and so... There's that, and then like you can give them weapons and stuff. I think that's in the expansion. I don't remember seeing that originally. Uh, but either way, I, I think it's just a fun concept where you literally destroy the bad guys and turn them into mush. So Technically, since this is an expansion, uh, the prices are a little bit off, but just because... You know, you have to go find the original. But so you get these monster packs that are only 25 bucks, which, you know, have monsters and clay in them. They don't include the base game. Uh, the base game looks to be 60 bucks and comes with some monsters and so on and so forth, all the main game stuff. And then if you want everything, it's like 300 bucks. I might have to grab this one because it just looks like such a cool concept. Well, there you have it. That's what I found this week. Uh, which ones did you like? Are there any you're excited for that I missed? Let me know down in the comments. As always, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.